the Conservatives certainly did put on a stern face today, and I, I agree completely with, with Thomas that it was their discipline and part of their messaging to make it look like they didn't want this campaign. But deep down, I think they really did want this campaign, and I think it's actually to their benefit that the election is occurring now. Because if we had waited another six months or a year, it would have given a lot more time for the opposition to drag out the various uh, ethics-related scandals and other things into committee hearings and, and drag them on in the media, which would have probably dragged the Conservatives' poll numbers down. So despite the face that they put on today, I think they were actually quite happy that this happened. Well, let's follow up on that. Stephanie, do you think the Conservatives secretly are happy that, in fact, the House has had its plug pulled? Well, definitely. I mean, not all the Conservatives were somber. I believe there were two Conservative MPs who gave each other a little fist bump as, as the vote was going on, a little hurrah, let's go, we're off to the races. And, you know, if, you, if we go back to Twitter, um, you know, being the arbiter of things, you watch some of the MPs on Twitter today and they're raring to go. Uh, they see this as a good thing. They see the budget as a good thing. They see, you know, the economic stewardship. That's, of course, going to be their key message throughout the campaign. They believe that they have the momentum and the message to take them through.